Hello, this is Sally Andrews and welcome to Travel Daily's Travel Channel. The Pacific Asia Travel Association has released preliminary figures for international visitor arrivals into Asia and the Pacific for January 2011. On the whole, the region witnessed a 7% year-on-year expansion, which Chris Lim, director of Pata's Strategic Intelligence Centre, regards this as a strong start to the year for travel and tourism industry. South Asia set the pace with the strongest arrival growth with a gain of 14%, with growth in Southeast Asia just behind on 10%. Northeast Asia registered a comparatively slower growth of 5.5%, although due to the region's huge volume base, this still equated to more than 940,000 additional arrivals for the month. The Pacific region recorded a steady growth of 4% for January 2011, with Australia and New Zealand reporting inbound growth of 5% and 4% respectively. However, the island destinations of Samoa and Vanuatu both saw a drop in arrivals. Budget hotel groups Go Hotel will start to develop 20 properties across the Philippines later this year. The chain, which is owned by the local company Robinson's Land Group, is planning to develop a portfolio of 30 Go Hotels in the country by 2015. Go Hotels will open in Bacolod and Damagati this year, followed by several other locations across the Philippines in 2012. Many of the new properties will be attached to Robinson's shopping malls, RLC's retail arm. Authorities in the Indonesian province of East Kalimantan are planning to develop a new airport on Maratua Island. A remote diving spot located just off the east coast of Borneo, the new airport is designed to boost the island's tourism industry. Currently, visitors wanting to travel to Maratua need to take a boat from mainland Borneo after flying to Kalimaro Airport. Construction of the airport is scheduled to commence by the end of next year. Meanwhile, Kalimaro Airport is also due to be expanded later this year. In other news, Perakum has announced that it will open a new luxury resort in the Maldives later this year. Launching in October 2011, Niyama will be set across two islands, Mbodofushi and Ohu Valley, and will feature 86 studios and pavilions. F&B options at Niyama will include a restaurant built 500 metres offshore and 8 metres below will be the world's first underwater club. Other facilities include a 24-hour spa and gymnasium, while the resort will also offer paddy dive courses and other water sports. Indonesia is waiting on a decision from UNESCO as to whether two sites in the country will be designated as official geoparks. The country's culture and tourism minister submitted a proposal to UNESCO to create geoparks in Batua, Lake Bali and Pasitan, East Java. A UNESCO team will visit the Indonesian locations later this year and if applications are accepted in December, the sites will be the first UNESCO-listed geoparks in Indonesia. And finally for today, a flow of volcanic material from Indonesia's Mount Merapi buried 21 houses in central Java on Saturday night, according to local media reports. The volcano erupted late last year, killing more than 300 people, and floodwaters from recent heavy rains carried cold lava flows down from Merapi slopes, burying several homes. Vehicles and several livestock animals were also buried in the flood. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.